Welcome to Packager Tutorials, Creating Deployments. In this short video, we'll navigate the application library, explain the repository options, go through the application deployment settings, and general application management. Packager is an automated application packaging, updating, and deployment software solution. Watch our introduction video first to learn how our services can work for you. Deployment Overview This tutorial will demonstrate an overview of the deployment process and will then proceed to explain each step in detail. Packager is a browser-based application that packages and pushes updated versions of your chosen applications to your Intune for deployment to your devices. After you have connected your account to your Intune tenant, you need to instruct Packager on which applications you would like managed. Go to Application Library, click Add New App, search for the application, and click the plus button to add the app. Click the three dots, select Deployment, and click Deploy to Intune. When the status changes to Success, the application has been successfully uploaded into your Intune tenant. You can view and manage this application as usual in Intune, whilst Packager continuously searches for updates, tests and packages the new version, and pushes it through without altering your settings. Simple. For further insight into the deployment settings and application management from the Packager dashboard, continue watching the remainder of this tutorial. Application Library. After setting up your Packager dashboard by following the steps in the Packager tutorial, Getting Started, you are ready to create your deployments. From the dashboard, go to Application Library and select the company from the drop-down menu. This is where you will instruct Packager on which applications you want to be managed. All of your application management takes place in the application library, including adding, deploying, and removing apps. Go to Add New App to access the applications to add to your library. Choose Hosted App. For information on custom applications, watch our Packager tutorial, Custom Applications. Here you can select which app type you wish to deploy, including Mac and Windows, with public or private repository options for Windows. Packager has over 600 applications ready for you to deploy and are adding to this list daily. To easily detect which applications in your Intune can be managed by Packager, click the Check button and view your personalized application list ready for deployment. Before creating a deployment, we will explore the differences between the repositories that host the applications. Repositories explained. A repository is a storage location where applications are kept, managed, and retrieved for deployment. In Packager, repositories serve as the source for installing and updating applications in Microsoft Intune. Packager was originally built on top of Microsoft's public WinGet repository, leveraging its vast selection of applications and Microsoft's rigorous security testing. Over time, Packager recognized the need for more control, reliability, and flexibility in application deployments. This led to the development of the Packager private repository and later support for macOS applications. The WinGet repository is at the core of Packager. WinGet is Microsoft's package manager for Windows with a public repository hosting thousands of security validated apps through Microsoft's thorough checks. At Packager, we take this a step further. We curate the most relevant and popular applications. Each application is tested for seamless deployment in Microsoft Intune. We ensure that updates are pushed regularly, keeping your software up to date. While WinGet is a great source for widely used applications, as a public repository, it does have limitations. Apps rely on vendor URLs, which can sometimes break. Versions can change without notice, impacting deployment stability. Some specialized applications are not available in WinGet. The WinGet applications rely on WinGet pre-install as a dependency application, which is integrated into Packager's deployment processes. Whilst Packager manages all of these events for you, for users who need more stability and control, we offer the private repository. The private repository is Packager's premium application hosting service. Unlike WinGet, which pulls applications from external sources, Packager directly hosts and manages installers. This ensures greater stability, no unexpected changes from vendors. 
No reliance on vanity URL. Faster, more reliable deployments. Applications are stored on Packager's secure servers with the installer files embedded within the app and have no dependency applications. The private repo is ideal for businesses that need a controlled, stable environment for software deployment. It's included in our business plan and custom plans. Packager also supports macOS application deployments in Intune through integration with Installimator, a tool that handles Mac app installations. Here's how it works. When deploying a Mac app, Packager generates a shell script that runs in Microsoft Intune. This script checks for Installimator. If Installimator isn't installed, it downloads and sets it up automatically. The script then installs the latest version of the selected Mac application. This process ensures that Mac devices remain updated while maintaining simplicity and automation in deployments. Please check our documentation online for the current deployment features and restrictions for Mac application deployment through Packager. Now you are ready to create deployments from the application library. Deployment settings. To create a deployment as described in the application library section of this tutorial, from the dashboard, go to application library, click add new app and select hosted app. For Windows applications, select Windows from the drop-down menu and search for your application. For this demonstration, we have chosen Firefox. Click the plus button to add it to your library. Directly deploying the application to Intune with the default settings will direct Packager to test the devices in the group as assigned through Intune for Firefox. If the device does not have Firefox, it will be installed. If the device does have Firefox, Packager will detect the version number and update the application if necessary. Each time an update for Firefox is released, Packager will test, package, and push the new version directly to your Intune to then be deployed to your devices. Packager allows users to alter the default behaviors by changing these deployment settings. To deploy the application, click the three dots on the side and select Deployment. The default settings are shown in the following window. This tutorial will take you through each one. The custom install string setting allows you to override the install string, where you can add further instruction such as application registration keys or license keys. For the custom install string to work, the full string needs to be entered, including the silent install commands, ensuring the file name is left out. The Update Only option ensures that only the devices that already have Firefox will receive the updated version, rather than performing an install on any device that does not have Firefox. This setting is utilized in our best practice protocol for managing applications through Company Portal, which is outlined in our online documentation. The name of the application that shows in Intune can be changed here, which allows for tagging, naming conventions, and personalization. Removing the version number will simply remove this detail from the application name for aesthetic purposes in Intune. This setting does not change the functionality of Firefox. The Auto Update option refers to allowing the new version of Firefox to be pushed to Intune for deployment as soon as it has been tested and packaged by Packager. If No is selected, the new version of Firefox will still be packaged and ready to push, However, it will wait in the application library until it is manually pushed. A notification email will be sent with an alert that there is a new version available and it can be manually pushed through by simply clicking the three dots and selecting Update. This setting is useful for implementing version control for particular apps. The Advanced Installer options allow changes to the install behavior for the end user. By default, the updates will occur silently However, there is an option to allow the user to defer the update. This will occur as a Windows pop-up notification, and the number of allowed defers can be determined in this section. Similarly, an option for the user to defer the update and close specific applications is also available. The Close Applications section allows a list of applications to be closed when Firefox updates separated by a comma. The correct name for the application can be found in Task Manager, Processes. The user will be prompted to close these apps if they are in use when the update is to occur. 
The prompt for restart option will ask the user to restart their device to complete the update with a countdown. The Firefox shortcut on the user's device can be removed by altering the Remove Shortcut option. For WinGet applications, these are the deployment setting options, and Firefox can now be deployed by clicking Deploy to Intune. The status of the application will change as Packager builds and uploads the application package to Microsoft Intune. Intune then processes the package, verifies the install settings, and registers the application. Once confirmed, Packager updates the status to success. Now you have successfully instructed Packager to automatically manage the updates for Mozilla Firefox for your chosen devices in Intune. You can view Firefox in Intune by clicking the three dots and selecting View in Intune. Packager does not change any of your application group assignments or other settings. The old version of the application is simply replaced with the new version. The notes will show that this application has been deployed by Packager, and for WinGet applications, WinGet pre-install is listed as a dependency. This dependency is fully managed by Packager. For private repository applications, there are some added features to specify prior to deployment. When deploying a private repository application, you can control how and when updates roll out using the pilot group, production delay, and global delay features. A pilot group is a selection of devices that will receive the application update first with a delay before the production group or remaining devices receive the update. This allows for testing of the application update before distributing it to all users. Before assigning a pilot group in Packager, you need the Intune Group ID. Open Microsoft Intune and go to Groups. Click the group you want to use and copy the object ID from the overview page. You'll use this ID when setting up the pilot group in Packager. Paste the group ID into the pilot group setting. This ensures only the pilot group receives the update first for testing. Find the production group delay option. Set the number of days to wait before the update moves from the pilot group to all production users. This gives time to catch and fix issues before full rollout. Locate the global delay setting. Set the number of days to pause the update before it even begins rolling out. This is useful for internal testing or avoiding disruptions during critical periods. Click Deploy to Intune to start the staged rollout. The app will now follow the pilot first, production delay, and global delay rules you have set, which will be evident in Intune under the availability status of your pilot and production groups. To integrate the application updates with the enrollment status page, you can enter the ESP ID in this setting box, ensuring the newest versions of each application are updated in the ESP. Go to the ESP settings page in your Intune and select the profile. Access the URL for this profile and retrieve the ID from the end of the address, as shown. Enter this ID into the ESP settings box when specifying your deployment settings. Once the app has deployed, you can check the ESP page and the application will be listed. For Mac applications, select Mac OS in the drop-down menu and select your application for deployment. Click the three dots and select Deployment. The deployment settings allow an Update Only option as described in the deployment settings for WinGet applications and an option to force the updates of the application without prompting the user to close the app. Click Deploy to Intune. Packager creates the shell script for this application and embeds it within your Intune environment through an integration with Installimator, as described in the Repositories Explained section of this tutorial. Click View in Intune and view this shell script for your deployed application. This script will check periodically for updates for this application and will deploy accordingly. You have now successfully deployed your application and Packager will continue to detect, test, and deploy the updated version of this application. Application Management Once you've successfully deployed applications through Packager, you can manage them as usual through Intune with some management options available through the application library in Packager. This section covers all key application management tasks available in Packager including deleting, redeploying, and automated redeployment. From the application library, you can search and sort your applications based on type, name, or recent deployment 
for each company you are managing using the drop-down list. Deleting applications. If an application is no longer required or needs to be replaced, Packager allows for simple and efficient removal. Locate the application to remove. Click the three-dot menu next to the application. Select Delete from the menu. Choose one of the following options. Delete from Packager and Intune. This removes the application from both Packager and Intune. Delete from Packager only. This removes the application from your application library and Packager will no longer manage the updates. The application will remain in Intune. Redeploying applications. Redeployment is useful when an application installation fails, needs refreshing, or requires updated settings. Find the application you wish to redeploy. Click the three-dot menu and select Redeploy. A confirmation dialog will appear, explaining the process of redeployment. You can check the status in Packager or verify in Microsoft Intune. Why redeploy? Fix failed installs. Refreshes deployments for devices with failed installations. Apply new settings. Implements updated configurations without manually removing the application first. Automatic redeployment. The automated redeployment setting ensures that your applications are automatically redeployed whenever Packager updates the underlying deployment package. This setting is found in My Companies. This is not the same as Auto Update or Update Only. Auto Update ensures the latest version of an app is installed as soon as an update is available, but does not change how it was originally deployed. Update Only deploys updates only if the app is already installed on the device and does not install it from scratch. What does automated redeployment do? When enabled, Packager will automatically redeploy an application whenever a vendor makes changes to the metadata or to how the app is deployed. Packager makes improvements to the deployment scripts. The automated redeployment setting does not trigger frequent updates like auto-update. It only applies when a structural change occurs in the deployment package. Note, if auto-redeployment is disabled, Packager will notify you via email when an update is available, allowing manual redeployment. This tutorial has covered all the information required regarding application deployment. If you have any further questions, please read our online documentation or contact support.